I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Mr. Beast thumbnail with the use of Photopea. It's basically a very good alternative to Photoshop and I highly recommend it to users who can't afford Photoshop just yet. But don't worry, for the Photoshop users, I'm going to be making a separate tutorial on this if this video performs. Now without further ado, let's jump right in. So the first thing what you're going to want to do is get the face of Mr. Beast or whatever thumbnail you're going to be doing. So what you can do is just open up a new tab and search up Mr. Beast PNG. Okay, so I got the PNG right here. We're going to edit the photo later, but for now we'll add the other stuff and then we'll mess around with the color correction later on. So now you want to get a grass background. Now what you want to do is get a grass background by just simply just searching up grass background PNG. Okay, so as you can see, I have the grass background right over here. But what I'm going to do is drag it below the Mr. Beast layer, so it's just like that. And now you want to search for a sky background. Okay, as you can see, I have it now, and I'm just going to drag it all the way at the bottom, just like that. Now what we're going to do is add a house near, behind Mr. Beast, right or somewhere over there. Okay, so I went ahead and just got this house PNG, and I'm going to drag the layer behind Mr. Beast. And then we're going to put it somewhere around there. Now we're just going to double click on the house layer, go down to drop shadow, make sure it's enabled and just put the opacity to somewhere around 48 distance right over there. We're going to lower, we're going to increase the size or we'll keep it at 26 and just go ahead and click on OK. Now after that, what you want to do is just get a picture of a car or a PNG of a car. OK, so I got the car right over here. To move it, you can click Alt Control T and then just adjust it just like that. So I'm going to place it somewhere around there. And now what we're going to do is search up a picture of a family, basically. Okay, so now what you're going to do, I'm just going to adjust the size and the placement of it. We'll put it right over here and we're going to double click on the layer. We're going to go to outer glow and we're going to switch the color to white. We're going to lower down the opacity. Click on blend mode and then put it on normal. Keep the spread down to zero and then just adjust the size to around 62 we're going to increase the spread actually to a little bit just like that that should be good and make sure the technique is on softer you could add a stroke if you'd like by clicking on the color white and you can just adjust the size and the opacity if you'd like the position you could either put it outside of the people the outside of the family you could put it inside or you could even put it in the middle i would probably leave it on outside and just probably bump up the size to two that should be good and then just go ahead and click on OK. We'll apply color correction to Mr. Beast and then we'll move on to the text. So just go ahead and click on the layer. Go down to outer glow. Just do that. Enable that. Make sure the color is on orange. Click on OK. Blend mode. Put it on normal. I'm sorry. Blend mode. Put it on color dodge. Then I'm going to increase the spread to around 1. Size. I'll increase a little bit. Just like that. 133. Opacity. And now just go ahead and click on OK. And now for the text. So to do this, make sure you're on the upmost layer. Just click new layer right over there. Click text, add text, and just type in 100,000 or whatever you want. And then make sure your text is, the font is selected as Comica Axis. It's pretty similar to Mr. Beast's fonts, and it just looks really good. Now we're gonna double click on the layer, go to color overlay, and then just adjust it. I would probably put it yellow. That should be good. And then we're going to go stroke, change the color to black, and then just increase it to 8 around there. Actually, we're going to adjust the stroke. We're going to change it to 5. And then go ahead and click on inner shadow. We're going to change the opacity a little bit. Just like that, 26 distance. We'll probably keep it around 8. We can increase, we can keep the size at 1. And then we're going to go over to drop shadow. We're going to change the opacity all the way to 100 and make sure your distance is on 8. Make sure the spread is at 100 and make sure the size is set at 1. And then we're going to go ahead and add another drop shadow just like that. And then for this drop shadow, we're going to change the blend mode to normal. We're going to put the opacity down to 20, somewhere around there. 22 is fine. Distance, we'll put it up to 50, 60. Spread, we'll increase it to 12. Size, we'll decrease it just like that and now you can go ahead and click on ok but actually before you do that we're going to click on inner glow make sure it's enabled we're going to switch it to white or i mean black and then increase the opacity to 100 spread make sure it's 34 size we're just going to increase it a little bit 
just like that and then you can go ahead and click on okay now click alt Control t on your keyboard and just adjust it we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and then we're gonna drag the layer below the family just like that and that's it for this video guys if you guys did learn something new make sure to leave a like and subscribe